think I was always a bit of a weird, a weird child. Some of the early priming of my brain was watching Astro Boy and seeing how machines would desire to love. So as a child, it was like, how do I embed love and passion into technology or into the machine? My name is Tia Bauman and I'm an artist, creative technologist and entrepreneur. The company I founded is Metaverse Makeovers. It's a glam tech brand and we design augmented reality social mobile products for the digital generation. This is a market that have had access to the internet their whole lives. I spend a lot of time observing how young people use their mobile devices and how they engage with each other and connect with each other. How can I further augment that with the latest virtual technologies? I studied fine arts, but most of that time I was hacking game engines and figuring out how they worked. So I guess a lot of my early sensibilities in terms of being a creator or maker is reverse engineering, really seeing what the nuts and bolts are of a, a game engine and breaking it. Machinima is a type of media practice where you can use game engines to construct like visual narratives or stories with characters from the games. I would clone myself as a computer game character into these virtual environments that I built with the game engine, document the fly through and then that would be its own work. Metaverse Makeovers was really inspired by cyberpunk narratives of what the future could look like. And so for me, it was really about, well, I want the future to look like that, but now. I grew up watching a lot of anime and seeing these superhero type characters like Gem and the Holograms or She-Ra and then seeing how they would transform themselves through these gadgets that they had, you know, like these wands that would like transform them. And I guess that really is the genesis of Metaverse Makeovers. Metaverse Nails is the first product that we've released. They are these fashion accessories that you wear on your nails and when you scan them with our app technologies, it triggers virtual content to fly out of your nails. And then you can share this experience to social media. I thought there was a potential there for creating a new wearable content distribution platform. What would a wearable gaming platform look like? So the fashion nails was like a first conduit into this hologram brand. One of the first iterations of Metaverse Nails was an interactive art experience built around these QR code style nail decals. So it was a very early prototype. From there I progressed to app development using Unity to create augmented reality experiences. Heading off to China to figure out how do I actually manufacture small micro curved surfaces to interact individually with mobile apps. I work a lot with young and emerging artists who really are guiding me in terms of what they desire because it's pretty black void in there. There isn't really a lot of interesting content in these new hardware devices. So I think that's where artists will play a really important part is what that visual landscape looks like and what that immersive experience could be. There will be more of a convergence in my mind between fashion, gaming and wearable tech. Am I creating the cyber feminists of the future? Well, I certainly hope so. I can only hope that with this younger digital generation, when they actually see a hologram flying out of them, that at some point in their future that they can relate back to that and go, these are the inspirations to shape their engineering futures or their technology practice.